Matthew Doyle here again, welcoming you to Scaleform GFX 3.0, getting started with Click Video Tutorial 2. In Step 7, we'll show you how to scan the radio buttons, which are virtually identical to scanning checkboxes. When we finish Step 7, your radio buttons should look something like what you see here. Double-click any one of the radio buttons to enter its timeline. Select File Import to Stage and browse to and select the file radio.psd. Ensure the Create Empty Movie Clip for this layer checkbox is enabled and ensure the Convert to Layers drop-down is set to keyframes. Drag the first keyframe of the new radio.psd layer to the timeline above the selected up label on the labels layer. Select the old radio layer and delete it. Drag the new radio.psd layer down below the text field layer. Lock the radio PSD layer and select file import to stage. Browse to and select the file radio button.psd. Ensure the Create Empty Movie Clip for this layer checkbox is enabled for each layer and ensure the Convert to Layers drop-down is set to keyframes. Drag the second keyframe into position above the overstate of the labels layer and drag the third keyframe above the downstate. Insert a new keyframe at the Disabled State label. While still on the Disabled keyframe, select the Radio Button graphic. Change the color effect on the Properties panel to Alpha and set the Alpha to 50%. Insert a new keyframe at the Selected Up state on the timeline. Press Delete to clear this keyframe and insert a new keyframe at the selected over state on the timeline. Insert another new keyframe at the selected down state on the timeline. Finally, insert a keyframe at the selected disabled state. Select frame 1 of the radio button.psd layer, then click on the radio button graphic on the stage. Press Ctrl+C c to copy it. Select the selected up keyframe and press Ctrl+Shift shift v to paste the radio button into place. Next, select the over keyframe of the radio button.psd layer, then press Ctrl C. Select the selected over keyframe and press Ctrl Shift V to paste. Select the down keyframe and copy it as well. Select the selected down keyframe and Ctrl Shift V to paste. Finally, select the disabled keyframe and copy it. Then, select the selected disabled keyframe and press Ctrl Shift V to paste. Select the old box layer and delete it. Drag the new radio button.psd layer down below the radio.psd layer. Lock the radio button.psd layer and select frame 1 of the text field layer. Adjust the text field font type, size, and color in the properties panel under the character rollout. Press Ctrl C to copy the text field. Select the disabled keyframe of the text field and press delete. Press Ctrl Shift V to paste the text field into place. Change the text field's color on this keyframe to a dark gray. Next select the selected up keyframe of the text field and press delete. Press Ctrl Shift V to paste the text field into place. Finally select the selected disabled keyframe of the text field and press delete and press Ctrl Shift V to paste the text field into place. Change the text field's color on this keyframe to a dark gray. Press Scene 1 to return to the main timeline and set the zoom to fit to window. This concludes Step 7. Save your work and test your progress.